In this video, we'll learn how to use the text question type in its most basic form. Here I have my XLS form template opened up, which already contains the required tabs and column headers. Let's start simple by asking the respondent for their name. When asking what someone's name is, it makes the most sense to allow them to type freely in a text box, given that the possibilities for names they might enter are pretty limitless. The question type for this is called text. When filling a form on a mobile device or on the web, the user will be presented with a blank text box that they can type freely in. So let's create this question together in our XLS form. As mentioned, the type here is text, all lowercase. Indicating text in this type column will create a text question. As a reminder, the name here is the variable name for this particular question. I'll call this one respondent underscore name. But you can call it whatever you want, as long as you avoid spaces and special characters. And lastly, we have the label of the question, which is what the user will see. Here I'll say, what is your name? It's worth noting that the text questions allow the user to enter both short answers, like their name, and longer answers, like a paragraph detailing an experience they had. In both cases, the text question type is used. In a future video, we'll learn how to do more with the text type question, such as requiring the user to enter a minimum number of characters, or not allowing them to exceed a specified maximum number of characters. But for now, you know the basics of the text question type.